Right, so I'm out here after the Port Vale versus Stevenage game. I'm joined with Jamie Reid. And Jamie, you know, a solid point for both teams. Uh, yeah, I thought we had the um, I thought we had the better chances overall. I thought the first 20 minutes we weren't very good, and then after that, I thought we dominated. But um, yeah, it was just it's good to get a point. But we should should, should be taking all three. Three very experienced centre backs in Lowe, Nathan Smith, and Barmer. You know, so as a striker, how do you deal with that? Yeah, yeah, it was fine. They were tough to play against, but all centre halves were tough to come against in this league. You're never going to have an easy game, so yeah, they were good. It was, yeah, just what you expect, really. You know, your gaffer Steve Evans is known for being a tactical genius in his own right. So, how did you set out today to to counteract how we would have played? Uh, just like we always do, just we focus on ourselves. We don't really focus on the other team, and then we just get in their faces and just press people. So that's all we did. Top man, Jamie. Cheers, Thank man. you. Right, I'm here with Jason Lowe. Jason, before I start, what a performance today, by the way. But a solid uh, point on the road, you know, do you agree with that? Completely agree, yep. Yeah. I think, um, obviously, coming away, Stephen, he'd ask us questions, put you under a lot of pressure. Um, we had our own chances. Uh, obviously, tried to win the game, but coming away from here with a point and something to build from, a clean sheet. So, um, yeah, relatively, relatively pleased. And after, you know, of course you're an experienced player, so after we're under pressure for 10, 15 minutes, is it your responsibility to, you know, encourage the players through a time where it's easy to concede one or two because they had some very good chances? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, we've got a few lads, myself and, and Funz and, and Connor, and we've got other guys that say their opinion and, and try and uh, manage the game in certain periods that'll, that'll help us. Um, so, yeah, that's obviously that's something that, that I take on board and try and um, help the team with. And I believe this is your first start in the league for Vale. Um, so, you know, first of all, what are your thoughts on the club? But how have you settled into the club? I've settled in very well. Um, the group in itself have been uh, very welcoming. The staff have been fantastic, very, very supportive. They push us every day. Um, we all want high standards every single day to try and be the best version of ourselves that we can be. And um, obviously all in preparation to try and play well and win on a Saturday so obviously disappointing not to win today but definitely something to build from Jason top man thanks mate. my man look top after man. you right I'm joined with Tom Tom, Tom Sang and Tom obviously a great point um, on the road against a very informed Stevenish side yeah it's, it's one of them we haven't had um, some very good results in the past few games in the league um, so I think after the international break it was important for us to reset and come here and just do the basics well and, and get a point at least. And are you happy with your performance today? Yeah, really happy. I think um I think we happy. stuck in well. I think I think we battled really well against a side who, who do make things tough. So I think there was some good quality up the pitch, so yeah, happy. You should definitely uh, definitely be proud of your performance Thank after you that. Uh, but on to Port, sorry, not Portsmouth, Peterborough on Tuesday. Yeah. What are our thoughts before that? I think that's. I think it's just going with the same, the same mindset really as we did today because I think getting a point to set you up it gives you some confidence, doesn't it, going into the next one. So um, I think the lads will, will be looking forward to it and getting ready to go. And obviously you've been playing quite a few positions this season, mainly right wing back or yeah. in central midfield. But where is your preferred? Where would you prefer to play? Well, I, th I think I've got attributes to suit, whether it's midfield or wing-back, but wherever I can find most consistent game time, I think that's the uh, the, the one I'll go for, yeah. Tom, top lad, yeah. mate. Cheers, Appreciate mate. Appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Right, I'm joined by Steve and his gaffer, Steve Evans. And Steve, you know, of course, no manager will like to get a point out of a game, but yeah, against a very inform side Port Vale you must be happy with the point there yeah, not happy um, no? well, not happy with some big decisions today I think they went against us we all also made the two best chances in the game two one on ones mm -hmm. but the one thing about Port Vale is they're an established league one side they're a good benchmark for us so from a neutral point of view and many people think that's a hard hard point for both of us but I think we leave them more disappointed. And if you look at Andy and his staff at full time, they were really happy they got a point. And I would like to say, you know, for the majority of the game, Port Vale did dominate. But, you know, for the last 20 minutes, you really put us under the cosh. And surely that's a positive to take out of today's game. Well, listen, we, we said before the game that Port Vale's a decent side. Bill Wheaton, Owen and Carroll, Andy, doing a mm -hmm. tremendous job with the staff he's got with Scoy and Dunny and, and all the boys. So it's, it's tough for us. They're, they're a really good side. They're established. Um, 
But as Andy just said there, when he came in there for a beer, and he just said, you'll, you'll get a lot of points in this league. So that's a compliment from a guy I've got total respect for. And of course, as a manager, you want to be pushing your boundaries every day. But where are your realistic expectations come the end of the season? Yeah, listen, we said if we if we were around that middle group, we'd be delighted. Mm-hmm. We we don't have aspirations to be in the top group fighting for it. I think Portville do. Um, but I think we've gone toe-to-toe here with the Portsmouth and the Charltons and the Oxfords yep. and again yep. today with Port Vale. So we know it's really tough, but we've got a tough week. Bristol Rovers away, Derby at home. If we get a reasonable return of points from those two, we'll be in that top six or seven. 15, 16 games in. Delighted. You made a very good start to the, the season, Steve. Well done. Top All man. the best. Good work, Thank man. you. Cheers.